Hey everybody, Dutch Sense here. It is 11.49 p.m. Central Time on Thursday, February 23rd, 2012. And we're looking at Earthquake 3D here. I have the earthquakes turned on for the last 24, let's go ahead and turn it on for 48 hours. And you can see in North America, there's just a 2.9 shown here in Oklahoma. Now I'm going to bring you over to my page and show you a report from one of my viewers. Uh, he says, welcome back. And he said, did you get the coordinates for the Virginia quake that was removed that I sent you? What's your thought on the additional four small magnitude quakes today down south? Now, I want to show everybody that actually the USGS is not showing any earthquakes on their feed. Otherwise, they would show up here. And so I'm going to zoom it in, and we'll look in the Virginia area, and we'll just turn it down for the last week. Okay, seven days ago, they have a 2.7 listed in this area. Okay, so I decided to come over and check the charts. I mean, the best way to check to see if there's an earthquake is not to rely on their little maps, but to actually go look at the charts and see what they show. So I came over, and we'll just do this real time here. I came to the Siri helicopters, and I decided I was going to go look and see what the earthquake activity was for today. And to get a better idea, we'll go to their main page here, and we'll go to the Siri node. And we'll just go down and look at each one of these charts. Now, I've already looked at a whole bunch of these. And what I want to show you is this, this giant missing gap here. OK, now you might say, oh, OK, that's just a station going out. Well, let's go down and look at all these different charts. There you go, missing, missing, missing. Every one of these is missing the spot where they supposedly had an earthquake today somewhere in Virginia. Okay, let's just keep going down. Look, each one of these charts is missing the data. Now I'm going to take you to where we can still go see the data where they haven't censored it yet. But I just want to show you that each one of these charts has been deliberately turned off on the Siri node. Literally, they turned them off and removed the data. It's not there. The earthquake, you cannot see it. You can see the build-up to it, but you can't see the earthquake itself. Now, the build-up to it is tremendous. When you look at that build-up, right, here's a baseline, and here's what happened before the earthquake occurred. Now, this is all throughout Missouri, Tennessee, Arkansas. I mean, look at the states here, guys. The entire Midwest had some kind of event that occurred today that they removed off the charts, and that explains why it's not on the USGS map, because they censored the Siri data. Siri is, is the collector of the data. So let's just go back, all right, and I'm going to show you how we can see this correctly. All right, we're going to go to my links. We're going to go to the ANSS backbone. Now, this is the Advanced National Seismic System backbone. These are the different helicopters that are placed in each state, and we can go look. So let's just do that. Let's go look in Tennessee first. Here's Tennessee. It shows you what the station looks like, what the equipment on the inside is like, and you click on Heliplot here. There it is. OK, they still haven't censored this off the map yet. So here's your earthquake. Here's your multiple hours of aftershock. That's just one station. Let's go look at several more. Here's Mississippi. Again, same thing. And let's look at their heliplot. There it is. The state of Mississippi experienced extreme harmonics for multiple hours today, starting off with this earthquake right up here at the top. Let's continue on. All right, let's look in Kentucky. Again, they have a picture of the station, what it looks like, the transceiver, the whole bit. There it is. Fairly sizable. Magnitude, I don't know because it was wiped off all the actual magnitude charts, so we don't see any of the official data. All we're seeing is the actual movement of the, of the needle. Let's go look down in Alabama. There it is. So it was felt throughout the entire United States, or at least the entire Midwest. Here's Ohio. Look at that. Right here's your earthquake right here. And now that's a lot. Actually, that's a lot of movement for Ohio. When you look at this station here, when you see this kind of movement on the chart, Unless this is by some kind of river, okay, which it looks like it is. It looks like it's next to a lake, so that might explain it. But you would normally see this kind of movement near a volcano. Just 
ironically. All right, let's go down and look in Florida. There it is again. So I don't know why they wiped this off the Siri node, but it's not uh, wiped off ANSS yet. You can bet as soon as this video goes out, they'll most likely have it wiped. <laughs> uh, that's a little, usually the way it goes. Um, here it is again. So look at that. Look how long it occurred. This is your minute chart up here for over the course of an hour, how long that actually shook. So it started at roughly 1,400 hours, 1,420, and it went through 1,430 with your two main shakes. So that's you know a good 20, uh, 15 minutes total from the start of the first shake all the way back here to all the way at the 40 minute mark. So pretty hefty shake. Again, they don't want you to see it. Let's look in Arkansas. There we go. Now, let's try and get an idea, based upon intensity, where that sh shaking came from. So we need to look and see if it's more intense to the north or to the south. Okay, all these signatures are looking roughly the same, no matter which state we're clicking in. Normally, if it, let's say the earthquake was down here to the south, well, it would show bigger down here than it would up to the north. Let's look up in Iowa. There it is. Okay, it's getting smaller as we pass away from Iowa. Let's look on the east coast down here near South Carolina. There you go. There it is. Okay, so South Carolina, and now let's go up into Virginia. Let's check the area where the earthquake was wiped off the map. Eh? It's smaller in Virginia. Okay, so you're looking down here in the Carolinas. So let's check North Carolina. Wow, okay, so it's a North and South Carolina deal. Let's check Georgia. Well, the most intense shaking looks like it occurred in North or South Carolina. Let's check West Virginia. No. And let's check all the way up here near Pennsylvania. Sorry, I want to go through all these guys. I'm, you know, this is kind of anal retentive of me to do, but I just really want to make sure that it's coming from from the right area before I really say it. Look at Florida here, guys. Look at Florida. Florida is the most intense so far. So you've got Florida, South Carolina, somewhere in this region here is where the earthquake is looking like it's coming from. That's fairly interesting. And let's just, for the heck of it, check Texas. Okay, hardly anything in Texas. Well, there you got it, guys. Um, they wiped it off the map, and thank God for ANSS and multiple links and maybe them not being as efficient as they should be when they go to wipe these things. Now you know.